So do the two of you remember your very first drag costume and what it looked like? Yes. Yes. We have a picture, actually. We still have it. You know the famous Deffies in Drag? Well, I'm here in Selena and Casavina's closet. Mmm. So do you ever wonder what it's like to be a drag queen? I have so many burning questions and excited to chat with Jimmy and Alvaro. My very first question is going to be, how much does this wig weigh? Ooh, it's heavy. So yes, my first question is, how much does that wig weigh? Really, we haven't put it on the scale, but yes, it's really heavy. Whew. Mm-hmm. But understand this, especially, it is a ponytail. There were six different ones stacked together as one. That's why it's more heavy. It's more fitting for her. It's not my style. Yes, I love big poofy wigs. I have to admit, it doesn't look like a big deal, just the wig on its own. But putting it on, I already felt like a different person. You feel your person. personality yes. is coming out. I have a secret fantasy. My hair, ah. you see, it, it is kind of simple. Yes. I've always dreamt of having big, vibrant yes. hair. That feeling, that's your character. So do you guys remember your very first drag costumes and what they looked like? Yes. We still have it. We still have the picture of yes. it, too. That was the most embarrassing because we at that time thought we were all that. And now looking back, no way. We were not that pretty. Because it's funny, she's using black eyeshadow right there on her nose. You know, contour tends to be bronze or brown to match your skin color. I didn't know. I used black, heavy black. He was like, no, no. I could see black all over my face. It was a yeah. mistake. And I wore my real eyebrows, and I thought it was feminine. But as in drag, sometimes we use the real thing, but more feminine and more showy. But in that picture, I'm now, like, that was simple. I had three or four makeup products. During that time, we enrolled at Gallaudet, and we just started dating. We watched the second season of RuPaul's Drag Race. It was new and popular at the time. I was shocked. I couldn't tell whether they were men or women. But looking at it more close up, I got to learn more about drag, and the show explained more about it, and the art expressed behind it, you know? I was like, ah, and I told Alvo, we both love acting. Why can't we do drag? We went ahead and did it, and did everything. We fell in love with it. So, wondering, why the names Selena and Casavino? What were the inspirations behind those names? I love the singer Amy Winehouse, and her last name Winehouse actually translates to Casavina in Spanish. So I translated her last name into Spanish as a character, Casavina. It also encompasses her looks, and her hair, and her eyeliners, red lips, and the old style, you know, with tattoos. Old Hollywood style, a little bit. That, like pinup, like Amy. So I went ahead with that name. For me, my name after two of my favorite singers. One, you would probably know who. Selena Quintanala, the Queen of Tiano. And another one is an Australian singer. She is the first singer I fell in love with music. Before, I never knew music until I fell into her music. She is Kylie Minogue. Yes, her. That song, I Can't Get You Out of My Head, that was the first song I fell in love with. The style, the beats, all of that. And I became addicted to her music from there. So the two of you started out, you know, just as fun. But when was it that it actually became Deffies in Drag? From what I remember, we established Deffies in Drag in September 2015. But the funny story is before then, we used to film as men. We did several videos as this, us being men, and Jimmy's passionate about filmmaking and editing. And I'm passionate about acting and creating comedy. When we filmed ourselves as men, I felt something was missing, and we weren't sure about it. So we had a discussion and decided to go ahead with drag, and the rest is history. Yes, I remember when we were deciding, we kept thinking about what to name us. The first name I remember we came up with was Duffy's in Wigs. In Wigs, ugh. No, I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. So we changed it to Duffy's in Drag. It was more fitting, yes. You know, I think, wow, what a bold move. And I'm wondering about the community's reaction to that. I'm sure it was various. So just curious about that. At first, we were expecting negative reactions from the public because people are not used to seeing men dressed as women for comedy. But that's the point of drag. So both of us went ahead and drag and filmed it and released it. A few videos, which I didn't expect, got so much positive support from the audience. They wanted to see more. What's cool is you don't see them as men dressed up as women, but you see characters and a story about deaf-related themes and their challenges, and you see it, and it's fascinating. 
It's all there. Yes, that's true. They recognize your story more than the stereotypes they're used to. For example, my parents at first thought drag meant having sex for money. I didn't realize that many people have misconceptions right. about drag being connected with sex of any type. Maybe in the past it was a popular concept. I don't know. But I explained to them it's more about acting. Like how you see monsters. I love playing as characters, too. It's just a man playing various kinds of roles. It changed their perspective. Same with our page. Many people would tell us things. Like this man, he admitted that he used to be close-minded and didn't like gay people. He thought we were disgusting. But after watching your show, he changed his perspective. That makeup can be used for art, not for your sexuality. That was one thing. It opens people's eyes. Now I have to ask. Do people treat you guys differently as women as opposed to men? Yes, different. In drag, people felt it was easy to touch me, my boobs and butt, all over, and would act above me. But when we came out of drag, people would respect us and boundaries were there. It was a big difference. My sister told me, welcome to a woman's life where men can oppress them just like that. Men can feel you and do whatever they want to you. Oh my gosh, I was sick to my stomach. It opened my mind up about what women go through every day. And there was this other time when we decided to go outside and drag. And it was the most terrifying experience because we were walking in heels in public and people would look at us. Some would give us either a dirty look or confusion or would be fascinated with us. I got to understand that in a woman's world, they had to put up with all of that. My hats go off to all women. I'm very supportive and we are very feminist. So we strongly believe men and women are equal, no matter what gender. Equal is equal. Yes, agreed. Yeah, it's nice that you have that point of view that you can relate and you can speak out for women because you two know what it's like. So your personalities, how does it change when you two become Selena and Casavina? Personalities. Funny thing is, people imagine Selena as very bubbly, fun, happy, and people would assume that I would be the same out of character. No, not true. I'm very down to earth, laid back, and chill. I love playing video games. I love to sleep and eat. Nothing like Selena, who's more energetic, but that's the point of drag. When you get into drag, you feel your inner self. The funny thing is that your inner self is what you've been hiding all along. Selena would bring out Alvaro, and so that's the real side of me. I love to be like this, but I'm also this, too, in and out. That. How about you, Jimmy? I agree, same. When I'm out of my drag persona, I'm a very shy person. Before drag, I was so close-minded and quiet. I always was afraid of being silly. If I get silly, I would think people wouldn't find me attractive or cute. So I'd be like, stop, 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 just act mature. But once I got into drag, it taught me to open up and not to care about what other people think. It changed me to be more fun and have fun. Whenever we're walking and he would be like dancing, I wouldn't mind. I'd laugh with him instead of being like, don't do that here. Or people would look at us. No, you shouldn't care. Be yourself. Life is short, right? Yes, right. I mean, just own it. Be you or be anyone you want to be. Have fun with it. You know, I've seen drag in shows and movies and a variety of other genres, and I've seen men dressing as women. Is that the only type of drag, or are there others as well? And what others? Yes, many different forms out there. Many of them. For example, they have bearded drag queens. We have straight men doing drag and women doing drag. The most popular ones are the fishy queens, where you can pass off as looking as a real woman, like really feminine. And ones, clownfish, means funny and campy. Can be, yeah. Meaning hilariously over the top, not really woman looking. There's so many different kinds. Pageant queens. Yes. Pageant queens are very popular. Like RuPaul? No, RuPaul is not a pageant queen. Oh no. She's about the competition and who's on top. Pageants are more about following rules, wearing gowns, answering interview questions, politeness for drag. Oh, so more of like Miss America yeah. pageants. Yeah, yeah yes. that's it. It's called Miss Gay America and Miss Gay US of A. They are pageants where drag queens run in competitions. They win thousands and thousands and have a title, like almost the same system as the typical pageants have in the real world. You know, I have to say, as a woman, and I love being a woman, I, I probably have two options. Is that right? I could become a man, and that's called a drag, drag king. king. Yes? We sign it like this. Drag king. Okay. Drag king. Which means I would dress up and I would wear makeup as if I was a man. And the other 
option would be more of a glamorous version of myself. Is that right? So you know, yeah. Oh yeah, you can. Oh yeah. You can too. You can be a drag queen. In drag, there are no rules, no specifics. Drag is all about expressing who you are in an art form. That's it. So what would be a common misconception or assumption regarding drag? The most common thing people would assume about drag is that they're transgender. And even also, people thought signing deafies and trans? Deafies and trans, yes. So there are two different signs. This is drag, meaning big hair, like this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trans, or being transgender, is people finding their personal identity and gender from within. So there's a different sign. Most people would mistake us as women, but no. I'd feel flattered if someone thought I passed as a woman. <laughs> if they view us in that way, so be it. Yeah, I mean, me as a woman, I have to say I'm fascinated with your fashion and makeup. So what are your goals for the next five to ten years? Where do you want Deffies and Drag to go? For me, movies. Movies. A Deffies and Drag movie. I want to do it. That's the number one goal. That movie, if it happens, will be very special to me because I'd finally be able to present our ideas and creativity and to share this with the public, turning this into a feature-length movie, an hour and a half, a full movie with everything. That's what I want. I agree. A movie is a good idea. But also, we know that Duffy's and Drag won't last forever. I wouldn't want to do this for the rest of my life. No. Right. No, no. But what I imagine is possibly transition the positions to other people to be able to take charge, like give new scenes, have new people, new actors, everything, like a new show, and help create a new platform for them. The new people, you know? That's one thing I wouldn't mind doing. Inspiring new generations. Yes! Yes! Mm -hmm.